Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be adding or fixing the reputation scripts in our superpower training simulator like game. So the first thing we have to do is obviously open up our rep script inside of starter character scripts, which is inside of starter player. Now, as you can see, there are some changes to the script since the last time I showed it in the video. First thing is I obviously added the rest of the statuses, as you can see, which is savior, uh, actually, no, not savior, defender, officer, and outlaw, or not outlaw, crook and assassin. And that's pretty much the only difference up there. And then, we, as you see, we have this little if statement here. This is checking that you are not an outlaw and you're not a crook. So you're not an outlaw, you're not a crook, but there's one more villain, so it also has to check and make sure you're not an assassin or a super villain. My bad, there's actually two more villains. If you aren't any of those, then your killer's reputation is going to go down. That means you're getting negative rep. And if you were one of those, then, um, well, the opposite would happen. As you know, they'd get positive rep, which means they would become a good guy or at least have be closer to being a good guy than they already were. So obviously we use those values that were up in that table that I just showed. Now you see this huge if statement. Um, so we check if we're a savior or a defender or an officer or a superhero, so any of the good guys. If we're a savior, then what we're going to want to do is check if our rep minus one is greater than zero. Um, and actually we can, uh, we can get rid of that. We should probably get rid of that because it doesn't really matter. So let's just delete that and um, my rep dot value minus equals one. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter about those statuses up there. Uh, that's for the killer's reputation going up and down. For now, we're just going to use one, three, ten, and twenty-eight to subtract if they killed a savior. Well, if you were a savior, then you are going to lose that amount of rep. Now, if you were a good guy, then you're basically going to do this. Or if you were a bad guy, my, my bad, then you you want to do the same thing. <clears throat> and as you see here in the video, I forgot to add dot value after my rep in the outlaw section. And that's why later in the video, you will see that I do not lose my rep when I was when I got killed by an outlaw as an outlaw. Okay guys, so now we have to go into our leader stat script and scroll down till we find our rep.changed uh, connect function. So here that is, and as you see, first thing we do is check if our rep's value is zero, then we're innocent. Next, we check if our rep is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to 25, then we're a savior. That's actually not true. Um, because we have to fix that now that we added the rest of these well not not every single um, Not every single status, but more than we've had in the last time Okay guys, so now I fixed it and we changed it to be if your rep is equal to zero Your innocent rep is greater than or equal to one and less than seven then your savior if your rep is greater than or equal to seven and less than 25 then you're going to be a defender. And also if your rep is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to 25, but less than 75, then you know you're going to be an officer. And otherwise, if your rep is greater than or equal to 75, you're a superhero. So now we basically have to do the same thing for the uh, villain side of things, except opposite. So here are the rest of the villain stuff. It, as you see, it's basically just flipped signs everywhere. Okay, guys, so now let's test this in a two-player server. Okay, so the server's just loaded up. As you see, I have 100 strength and zero endurance, which is good. So that means I should one-hit the other player. But we have to first get out of the safe zone because, you know, if you're in the safe zone, then you are safe and you cannot be killed because you're safe and if you're not in the safe zone then you're not safe but in real life you can't be safe because there is no safe zone um well that got dark um anyways let's get the other guy out of the safe zone and now let's just shoot an energy blast thingy at him and you see he instantly dies and if you look over at the leader stats on the right side of the screen or on the 
left, right, whatever you call that. I'm an outlaw now, and I have a kill streak of one. So now, if I go over and kill the guy that's an outlaw, as you'll see, I now have a status of savior and a kill streak of one, and the outlaw now has a kill streak of zero. But he should still have his reputation, unless he shouldn't still have his reputation, which he actually should not. But like I said earlier in the video, um, he's not losing his reputation because I forgot to add the dot value after my rep. So make sure you guys do that. Okay, but now I want to show you guys what happens as if the savior gets killed by the outlaw. So you know he's, the outlaw has negative one rep. So now the savior loses his two kill streak and the outlaw gets a one kill streak and he has negative three rep now. Okay guys, well there's one thing I forgot to show you in the last video. You saw that check uh, for power script. You want to delete that in server script service. Also delete the check for power event in replicated storage. Then go into starter player, starter player scripts, and powers local script. Go down to the uh, uh, loop and delete the check event and the check event colon fire server. And then that does it for the video. So guys, like I said, this is it for today's video. I hope this helped you out and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and it really motivates me to keep making this kind of content that will help you make your games. Now guys, also remember to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next video and leave a like to make sure that everybody knows that this is a good video and so that YouTube pushes this video out to more people so more people can learn how to make games. Now guys, that being said, um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.